Good afternoon. It's May 24th, Memorial Day weekend. We hope you were able to join us for worship this morning. If you missed that somehow, you can go to our YouTube channel, which is Emmanuel North Kentucky, to our church website, emmanuelumc.org, or to our Facebook page. Uh, during that service, we remembered and celebrated our high school seniors, the class of 2020. Uh, we congratulate them, but also those that are graduating from college or from trade school or professional schools or other such things. Uh, but we want to take a moment now to remember Memorial Day weekend. Uh, with some of the pandemic restrictions being lifted, I hope you're able to do some of the traditional things we associate with Memorial Day. Have a cookout, celebrate with your family and friends. Uh, those are wonderful things. Hope you're able to do that. But of course, the real reason we remember Memorial Day is much more serious and sober, and that is to give thanks and remember those who gave their lives in the service of our country, uh, those who served in the armed forces of our nation, of the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, the Marine Corps, uh, and the Coast Guard. We're very grateful for those who serve and those who served, as Lincoln said, giving the last full measure of devotion. So I want to take a moment to, to remember their lives. I'm going to read a poem uh, that I enjoy uh, at Memorial Day. And then following that, I'm going to have a brief prayer. And then after that, we're going to enjoy a special song by our Minister of Music, Matthew Vanover, uh, in commemoration of Memorial Day. The poem is called Freedom Isn't Free, and it's by Kelly Strong. I watched the flag pass by one day. It fluttered in the breeze. A young Marine saluted it, and then he stood at ease. I looked at him in uniform, so young, so tall, so proud. With his hair cut square and eyes alert, he'd stand out in the crowd. I thought how many men like him had fallen through the years. How many died on foreign soil. How many mother's tears. How many pilots' planes shot down. How many died at sea. How many foxholes were soldiers' graves. No freedom is not free. I heard the sound of taps one night. When everything was still, I listened to the bugler play and felt a sudden chill. I wondered just how many times that taps had meant amen when a flag had draped a coffin of a brother or a friend. I thought of all the children, of the mothers and the wives, of fathers, sons, and husbands with interrupted lives. I thought about a graveyard at the bottom of a sea, of unmarked graves in Arlington. No freedom is not free. Let us pray. Most gracious God, I ask your blessing on our nation on this Memorial Day commemoration. We give you thanks for those who served our country so faithfully. We give you thanks for those that are serving even now, uh, that are in harm's way, that have put themselves between uh, us and those who would cause us harm or uh, hurt the cause of justice around the world. We pray for their protection and that you would send them home safely. But today we remember especially those who aren't able to come home that didn't leave the battlefield or who succumbed to their injuries later, whether that injury was to their bodies or to their minds or to their spirits. We give thanks for those who gave in sacrifice out of love for their country and love for their fellow human being, the love for, for justice and for peace and for freedom. We pray, Lord God, for those that are grieving the loss of those loved ones, whether that was in more recent conflicts or many years past, uh, we pray that you would comfort them and give them strength and give them hope and give them faith and give them love to enjoy and to share. We're very grateful as a people. Um, help us during this pandemic as we're thinking about the things we so often take for granted, uh, time with family and friends, freedom uh, to worship, freedom to assemble, freedom to express ourselves uh, in different ways. In some cases, we're not able to do those things in the same way right now. Uh, help us to appreciate that even more and to acknowledge that many of those freedoms would not have been possible without the sacrifice of these brave men and women that have served our country. So we give thanks for their lives. We pray that you would bless us as a nation, that we would heed the words of the Chronicles that says that if we would humble ourselves and, and repent of our sin and turn from our wicked ways and pray to you, you will hear from heaven and you will heal our land. We pray for healing uh, in our land. We pray for peace, Lord God. We pray that there wouldn't be no need for memorializing those that have fallen in battle because we would learn the ways that make for peace. And I believe that begins with acknowledging your sovereignty, that there is ultimately going to be one king and one kingdom. And so help us to trust in you. And as we do, we will not only be drawn closer to you, but also closer to each other. And we can learn to live in harmony as citizens of your kingdom. Bless, O oh Lord God, our nation uh, and our church uh, and our loved ones in this time. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.